Okay, um, so just a quick sound test. If whoever's watching can let me know if they can hear me okay. Really appreciate it. Try to adjust some of the settings real quick. Okay, testing, testing. Okay, how is this for the volume? Oh, yeah. Pale blood. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. But there's an outsider like yourself to begin. Easy, with a bit of yarn and blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. Okay, so for anybody who doesn't know, um, this is what is called a blood level 4 um, challenge run. Uh, Let's go. So basically, blood level four means that I'm going to start with the lowest level starting character um, that you possibly can. And um, I am never going to level them up, level them up any time throughout this whole playthrough. Um, so it, it's essentially a challenge run in the fact that, like, I'm going to be relying 100% on my weapon for damage, um, no extra health throughout the entire game, um, and then no, um, no extra stamina, like it's all basically just whatever I can get out of my character and using like items and things like that to um, make, make myself stronger. So normally like all of these other characters you'll see level 10, level 10, level 10. Um, but I'm going to be playing the Waste of Skin, which starts off at level 4. Um, which is okay stats, but like you could see some characters, they'll get like starting strength of 15, starting vitality of 14. Uh, Waste of Skin has basically 10s across the board, except for um, you know a few areas. So I'm um, already starting kind of from a little bit behind the 8-ball, and then um, basically going to be... Uh, never improving the character itself. Um, as for the appearance, appearance um, I, I found some guide online to kind of make the character look very Lady Maria-like. Um, so, I mean, she's like one of the best characters in the game, so of course I had to do that. Plus, this is the only time I've ever made a, a female character for uh, Bloodborne. So, this should be interesting. Um, and here we go. Now, let's begin the transfusion. 
Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad. Lip syncing on these games has never been great. That's part of the appeal to some people. I don't know anybody who plays this game that doesn't love the messengers. Hi, buddy. Ah, you found yourself a hunter. So we wake up in Yosefka's clinic. Might as well take that off for now. Alright. So first up is going to be this werewolf. Usually I can take him out okay without any weapon. Let's see how this goes. Not well, apparently. There we go. And dead. Now the interesting thing about this run is like all of the blood um, echoes that I get or, or you know what's equivalent to souls in the uh, Dark Souls games None of those are going to go towards leveling me up, so I can use them to buy um, different items, more blood vials, a whole bunch of different things. So I'm going to have to um, kind of decide, you know, how I best want to spin those as I play through. Um, I have looked up a little bit about like some tips with this, but not a ton because um, I want to kind of try to play through it and figure it out on my own as I go through it, even though that probably won't go great at certain points. But as far as I know, I can't ever get to a position where I'm like totally fucked and just can't continue. Love those guys. Right, yeah, actually, I'm going to come back to you. been a second since I played this, so I'm kind of relearning the... not relearning, but readjusting myself to the controls. Alright, so let's pick up some weapons. See you later, dude. decide if I want to go I'm actually going to skip this um, straight for the cleric beast or if I'm going to wait and I am actually even though I love the hunter's axe I'm going to go with the saw cleaver and probably the blunderbuss I think no book really doesn't do me any good that, and that, and can I buy anything from the bath messengers? 
by a blood vial. Yeah, fair enough. So yeah, for the most part, I'm just going to be running through the areas. I'm not really going to, um, you know, clear everything out like I normally do when I play through a game. Um, mainly because, like, I'm going to be... Like, these starting areas may not be too bad, but once I get later on, um, they're going to be incredibly difficult. Like, there's going to be many enemies towards the end of the game that will just kill me in one hit. Um, so there's really no point in me fighting everything. Um, plus... Hold on on the hunt then I'm very sorry but I cannot open this door this is Yosefka I am Yosefka there you go the patients here in my clinic must not be exposed to infection I know that you hunt for us for our town but I'm sorry please this is all that I can do And she gives you a vial of blood that will heal you um, way more than a normal blood vial, but you can only carry one at a time. Which I will probably never end up using, to be perfectly honest. Not that I won't need it, I'm just probably going to forget about it. Okay, so first thing, we're going to unlock a couple shortcuts. And priority number one is actually not going to be going straight for the bosses, but going to um, find what's called bloodstone shards to upgrade my weapon. Because that's really the only way I'm ever going to do more damage, is by getting a stronger weapon. So let's see if we can hunt some of those down real quick. Also probably going to get better armor, because the starting armor in this game is pretty shitty. It's gonna be a guy on the right. Oh wow, even with the level 4 character, he dies in one hit. Uh, so we're gonna go this way. Take you out. Get this. Uh, let's go ahead. I think I'll need those right away, but it never hurts to have them. The other thing about a blood level 4, four run is since items are not as important, I can basically go on what, what they refer to as just like suicide run. So I can essentially... Um, oh shit, I didn't even realize I had that range on that. I can essentially... Just oop. essentially just uh, run to make grab an item, and even if I get killed, as long as I get the item, that's really all that matters. Yeah, the dodging in this game is fan freaking tastic. Um, it it feels really great when you pull it off, even when you don't have like dodge by using the dodge mechanic and just like are right out of their range or out of their you know, area of attack can feel really satisfying. And actually playing with headphones on is kind of nice because I can hear this guy sneaking up on me. Um, and I'm used to just playing with the volume from the speakers of the TV, so I don't typically notice that. So that's kind of a nice little, uh, nice little change. Alright, actually, so first thing I'm going to do, before I get too much farther, is I need to see how many attacks I can get in before um, I run out of stamina, um, because I'm never going to be able to upgrade that. So, one, two, three, four, and then enough to dodge. Alright, it's not too bad. Okay, not 
die yet. Yeah, the Sock Cleaver is is a very popular weapon for uh, speedrunners. It's, I mean, I mean, a, it's one of the first items you can get in the game, if not the very first one that you'll get. Um, it's got a very good move set. It's very fast, um, and it doesn't use a lot of stamina. It's actually the stamina consumption is one reason why. Oh, crap. A little sloppy there. Stamina consumption is one reason why I'm using this over the um, the uh, what do you call it? The hunter's axe. Um, the, I love the reach on the hunter's axe, but it uses up. Um, hey, AB, how's it going? I, it uses up stamina like crazy compared to this thing, and I can't really afford to be wasting any stamina. Also, going to be taking advantage of um, the change attacks where you swipe and then change it mid attack. Those can do a lot of damage, give you a lot of decent range. Um, and typically are really good for building Beast Hood, which is a thing I'll be using later. Which I'll explain more. Whoop. So not used to how fragile I am with this character, wow. That's okay. Uh, Alright, torch. Um, okay, so I can go that way. Actually, do I want to go up here yet? Let's get this first. Another bloodstone shard. Uh, 